For our first example with this notation, let's go ahead and look at if we flip a coin two times. First thing we need to verify is the fact that the outcome is uncertain. And sure enough, when I flip a coin, I don't know what's going to happen, so if I flip it two times, I still don't know what's going to happen. The next thing I need to verify is that my outcome is going to be quantitative, and this is where we kind of run into a hiccup. If I flip a coin once, the outcomes are heads or tails. Those are categorical, not quantitative variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and instead of recording if it's heads or tails, when I flip my coin two times, I'm going to record how many heads I get out. If I'm recording how many heads I get out, there are a couple different things I could get. So let's go ahead and summarize this with our notation so far. I said I'm flipping a coin two times. This means that x, once again, I'm measuring the number of heads when I flip the coin two times little x will represent the actual outcomes I could get. So let's think about it here. If I flip a coin two times, I could get, first of all, zero heads. Or I could get one heads. Or I could get two heads. So there are three different values little x could be. If I wanted to go ahead and use my probability notation, I could write something like the probability of zero. And what this would mean is, what are the chances if I flip my coin two times that I get out zero heads? I could also go ahead and calculate something like the probability of one head, or the probability of getting two heads. Now I can make this notation a little bit more interesting by going ahead and telling people that I'm not just calculating the probability of zero for whatever, I'm calculating the probability of getting zero as the number of heads. That is, I can rewrite this as a probability that the number of heads, my random variable, is equal to zero. Or the probability, my random variable, the number of heads, is equal to one. Or, down here, the probability that my number of heads is equal to two. So this shows us that x, uppercase, our random variable, is the number of heads when we flip it twice. Little x has three possibilities, and these are how we'd represent the probability of each of those different possibilities.